Well, tonight's In Focus features the Crow Wing County Fair Talent Show. While each participant brought the crowds to their feet, it was the connection between a grandfather and his granddaughter that stole the show. Chris Burns has more. I got a call from my grandpa when I was out shopping and he was like, do you want to sing at a county fair? She's yeah, yeah. The Kansas natives would travel more than 600 miles to visit family and participate in the fourth day of the Crow Wing County Fair activities. This is the teen talent show. Um, we didn't have too many contestants, but um, they were both well received and they both had talent. Ashley spent most of her childhood singing in her grandfather's country dance club, so with her idol looking on and pushing her to achieve her goals, she turned back the clock with a Hank Williams tune. The way I do. First place, Ashley! It's crazy. I thought I was going to go up a lot, like, go up against a lot more people, but. I'm still happy. I couldn't already talk there when she won, and I'm still so proud of her. It chokes me up, because that's all I live for, is to help her develop a music career, because that's her dream. And if I can help her fulfill that, then I've achieved my purpose in life. After the teen talent contest, there was another one, this time open to anyone that wanted to enter. The two would team up, Ashley on guitar, and Ralph doing his best George Strait rendition. And this is where the cowboy rides away. First place, Ralph! <laughs> First place is $100, second place $75, and third place is $50. And they're all vying for a spot to go to the state fair for their amateur finals. With the duo headed to the state fair, they'll have another chance to showcase the talent grown from a connection that runs on love. I couldn't ask for a better granddaughter. Reporting in Brainerd for this week's In Focus, Chris Burns, Lakeland News. Got some dance moves too. The Crow Wing County Fair wraps up its yearly event tomorrow, and the theme of the event for the last hurrah will be Kids Day. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.